Hey everybody, welcome back to Super Buddies Forever. For first on the last, right off the bat, let's do a shout out, which the last was actually, scoot over baby, The Cottage. And that was Alex AG. Thanks buddy, enjoyed your quick oven. You've gotten a lot this month for first. It's amazing how quick you are. Thanks for that excitement. Today we're doing Gloom and Bloom and Amanita Nightshades area. It's not a lot going on, um, but I thought it felt like it needed to be on its own because it's simple but packs a really good punch. It is off of the townhouse or Blood Goods penthouse. We have the jacuzzi area with all the skull shores. Let's move these two out of the way. And so then we move on to their little garden terrace. Now the influence of everything comes off of Amanita Nightshade being flowery, even though she's the corpse flower, but oh every God. daughter of the corpse flower. All the little flower things in here come off of her taking care of the flowers type business or being a part of the flowers, them all being part of the flowers. So let's just jump around. That was just a little, I always do the initials, you know that, so here's her A and her N. And it's nice to have it loose because we can move it around wherever we would want. I just did that on a piece of astral turf. We have Katrine Demille, Cleo Denial, Venus McFlytrap, Jane Bullittle, Jennifer Long. Specifically, I do want to do a quick shout out to a very sweet commenter. Diane Bowden, I want to say that right, and she's been waiting a long time. This is the last room of all the units until we go to the catacombs since we started this months ago. Now the first video she had put, she had seen the video, and this one and this one, she was influenced to get after seeing our video and it set up the way it was. So I just want to say a big shout out and hello to Diane. I'm so glad I influenced you and I'm so excited about your new gains through the Christmas holidays and eBay and stuff like that. Congratulations and thanks for being part of our channel. So let's get moving on. What do we got here? These, like the Skull Shores Jacuzzi area, those were placemats bought from Ross that were just spray painted and hot glued on there. Little things from Michael's, the same. They were little die cut things and then I added all the flowers, which some of these were in dollar store or Michael's on sale, I'm sure. These were specifically these little ones you find in the bonbonier section for wedding party favors. Those are fun. Cute, I say fun a lot, don't I? The flower arrangement theme also goes into Bowie York, and they're just everywhere. There's a cute one over here. This came with one of the sets, and out of all the things I spray painted, excluding the face, of my custom. This was the only thing I sprayed that is forever sticky with spray paint for plastic. I have no clue because the hampers and all that sprayed fine. This one is sticky so we hide it in there so that it doesn't touch anything. Um, this set I definitely had from my early 20s. Not sure where I got it from. I spray painted that with a flat black to change it up a little bit. All those pieces were together. Um, the dolls. I think that one's Gracie's. Yeah, from Nancy. From Nancy, for just because she was visiting in town. I think all the rest are mine. I think I got this one for my birthday and her for my birth. Those three. Actually, I got those three here from my mom for my birthday last year. I think it was last year. No, it was this year. This Okay, yeah, my last birthday. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, Amanita. You got Jennifer. Jennifer. I think Granny got me all three. No, I think I no, I think you got it from eBay. I might have. I don't I'm know. I'm just not sure. Like that sounds right. Maybe I got two from Granny and two from eBay. I'm not sure. Either way, I fell in love with all of these at first sight. And Amanita just had to be the centerpiece of this. She wasn't getting a bedroom because I was not putting her on a bed. There's no way. She was just too exciting, too, she had too much inspiration for me, so she ended up in her own area. 
in her own little growing from the ground, even though she's on the terrace corpse flower. How do I explain this? I definitely have good pictures at the end. Have a look. Underneath is a Justin Bieber heart stage set thing, I think from his traveling bus or something. I'm not real familiar with Justin Bieber, but you'll see the pictures in the end. It was silver. I spray painted it with spray black, black plastic spray paint and then added all these things to it. A little hint if you do find this peach, which was fabulous, is its joints were attached in many spots. It was a very weak piece and all I did was put some caulking while I connected it. I put caulking into each connection, let it dry overnight, and it could became a very, very solid unit and it worked out perfectly. It holds up all this stuff. Aren't you going to use that for Rochelle? Yeah, I, was, I had bought it for possibly Rochelle, and then Amanita came out, and things change, as they do. And so there's so much involved with her. Her flower was a big tropical plant from Michael's, probably. It was pink or something. I think there was three on it. I picked off the one I liked best. I sprayed it with my favorite primer, and I hand-painted all of this, cut out the holes, the inspiration all came from her box art and then I just went to town on flowers and as you can see I think it worked out okay. The green is glow in the dark and there is a bead around here of glow in the dark. I do have a picture of it that it shows up pretty good with the glow in the dark which is just so cool for her being she's a corpse flower so she glows in the dark. I don't know. It all came together. I was happy. This was probably my most creative masterpiece of a bed slash chair slash display area. So I don't know, I just like looking at this. It's just cool. She gets a little lost in there with the colors, but oh, and let me do a second shout out to Alex AG because I got a second Amanita for next to nothing for like 10 bucks and a package opening so I can redo her hair and restyle her and redo her clothes. And he got first on that one too. So double shout out to you. Alex AG. So let's look a little bit more because I've been looking, talking, talking, talking. Little hose is a miniature from 112. These end tables were from a set I got definitely in my early 20s that matched the Claudine stuff. Anything purple was the same. I left those the color that they are. We put lots of cameras around her because we all know and not. that she is selfish and vain. So she has cameras everywhere and mirrors. I still have to make her adorable maggot. Her portrait is out there. And yes, Gracie's right. Out of clay, I do want to make her maggot, maggot pet, or Grace does. We want to make that to put in here as a little extra special. With a bow on it. Yeah. I'm sure we can find some other fun things for this in the future. Got her tray, everybody's got a drink. She's got her drink. More cameras. Oh, I forgot the seeds downstairs. Darn it. I was trying to remember that. I have a little pack of seeds to put here, flower seeds, for decoration, and I forgot to bring it up in my excitement. That will be there. Most of this stuff came from lots. Most of it was black or Barbie color, and I spray painted with plastic or hand painted it, depending on what I had to do. This, of course, is all waxed in, so we don't have to worry about knocking that down, which is wonderful. If I had to pick one out of these, I don't think that is a favorite. I don't think I could pick because they're all so awesome. And, but she is a really cool Cleo. Out of all the Cleo, she just has a whole different look. Colors, color shade of blue going on. I absolutely love it. Of course now with the mural down in the back, which is new since we began these videos, I think it looks just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So as you look, let's do another shout out. Just some few that I picked because they have flower names. Well, Disney Ever After April Lily. I do watch her channel. I love her accent and I love her stuff and her redos and her deal finds. So she's one I really enjoy as well. Just for fun on the big video, shout outs to Ivy Leinenbach, Violet Quinones, Amazing Lily and Poppy Clark. What beautiful, beautiful flowery names. I love my flowers. And 
Is so that a tour of the backyard. <laughs> tour of the backyard. Maybe I do love my flowering, she and I. She has a lot of flowers. Yes, and I have neglected it since we've been doing this. I need to get my button gear. So ends piece number five and our tours were I only promised one a week we've been doing a whole lot more than that or farther ahead than I thought but most of our units are done we, we got the catacombs to do next this became done since the big video and this all got finished except for over there but fear not we have a secret over there I can't show you we're preparing for we have that cabin right there I have to work on that will have some interesting stuff and I still have this area right here that I'm sure I will squeeze something in Lava for temple. our 2016 projects still keeping it going Woo! thanks for watching super buddies forever hope you enjoyed the gloom and bloom Amanita area have a good one bye till next time